Hey guys, welcome back to Paracord Planet. Today we're going to be making a secret compartment keychain. It's going to be using a six strand sinnet knot. It's a method that we've kind of used before for some different projects, like the Paracord Cactus. And the method for this keychain is taken from tying it all together. We'll link to his channel in the description. Let's dive right in. All right, so for this project, we're going to be taking three different colors of paracord. I've got about five feet of each. We're using the six strand sinnet weave, and you'll also need a split key ring. Start by taking two colors and fold them in half and thread the ring onto the paracord. Line up your ends and make sure they're even. And then for this first knot, we're just going to be making a four strand sinnet. So line up your cord so that your same colors are opposite each other. You've probably seen this on Rex lace or plastic lacing keychains before. Bring one color over in the middle to the other side, another color right beside it so you have these two loops. Then you'll take one of your other color cords and go over that first cord and underneath that second loop. And then same with your other side. Take it over that first cord and underneath the second loop. That way they all lock each other into place. If it didn't turn out right, you probably have two of your cords switched around. So just put them to the other side of each other. Tighten that down into the little square, but just loosely at this point. You'll need some room because we're going to add this third cord through the middle of those colors. Pull that through so the middle is beneath that knot, and your two ends are the same length. And then we can go ahead and tighten that knot down the rest of the way like that. So now we should have three colors, six cords, with the same colors opposite each other. So the six strand sinnet is similar, but it looks a little bit different to tie. What we end up doing is bring that first cord, I'm going to go in a counterclockwise direction, bring that first cord over the one right next to it. That next cord is going to go over that one that you first looped over and the next one. And then we'll continue that pattern all the way around. So now this white cord goes over your tail and the next color. This patterned one goes over the white and the next color blue. So each time when you put one over, you go back one cord and bring it over the next two except that first cord, we only took it over one. And you'll see why in a second here. Because now we don't have another second cord to go over. So it's gonna go over our, our tail that we just put over, and then down through this loop to complete that symmetrical pattern. And go ahead and tighten that down. It takes a little bit of patience to tighten these down. You wanna tighten them all equally. I usually end up putting my thumb on top to hold what I have in place and then tightening them all one by one. You might have to go around a couple times to get it to a point where it's going to stay. So that is the knot that we're going to use for the majority of this keychain. We're going to speed things up a bit and I'll catch you after I've made a couple of these knots. All right, so now we've made a couple of these knots. You can see a nice spiral pattern on the outside and that cavity in the middle. You may have to use a pencil and kind of poke down in there, widen the knot a little bit. I went a little bit farther than I should have. 
but now with that pencil it is wide enough to fit a dollar bill down in there. If you're going to the trouble of hiding it, you might want to go with bigger than a one dollar, but whatever. So then leaving that dollar bill in there, you can go ahead and keep doing your weave. So just keep on doing that knot until it covers your entire dollar bill, and then we'll catch you at the end. All right, so we have completely covered the dollar bill now. So to finish it off, we're just kind of do, gonna do a couple knots to taper it and make it look nice. So once you cinch down that top knot, we're gonna set these two white strands aside and do another four strand sinnet knot like on the top side. Tighten this a little bit more before I do that. Okay, so two blue cords across the middle. This one goes over the first, underneath the second. And same with this one. Over that first cord and underneath the second one. And then just cinch those down good and tight. So you could leave it at that if you want to. I'm gonna take these two pattern strands and do a lanyard knot just to make it look nice. I usually make this knot in my palm. If, you, if I'm moving a little bit fast here, you can look up our separate video on the subject. Or we have a photo tutorial on our website as well. All right, so this cord just goes down. This one, you make a loop, fold the loop over the top of that other one. This cord here, goes underneath, and then over this cord, underneath that middle one, and over the top, until you get this knot called the karic bend. And then you take this underneath again, and up through the middle. And this one, underneath that cord that's going around your hand, and up through the middle as well. then you can kind of pinch that into place. And obviously this has to be cinched down against there. So you just have to feed the cord through. There we go. That's tightened down. And now we're just gonna go ahead and pull all of our cords tight, no matter where they are, just to get all those knots tightened down before we clip them. I'm gonna do these white ones first. There is our hidden compartment keychain all done. This lanyard knot leaves a little bit of extra cord on the end so that you can retie it if you take the money out and want to reuse it. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. And if you want to see more practical creations like this, definitely let us know in the comments. Otherwise, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.